Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it's gonna be a super quick and easy one. I am going to show you how to make the most delicious tear and share bread. So what I have got down here is a nice loaf of bread. I got this bread, this is actually cornbread. I would have bought ciabatta, but I couldn't find any in the shops. So I got this instead, but it's just gonna be as delicious. But if you can get ciabatta, then I would say that works best. So you wanna make sure you get a nice fresh loaf of bread because that way it's going to make this recipe taste even better. So I've got a nice bit of bread. I have got tons of garlic here. This is a whole bulb of garlic. Because this tear and share bread is going to be garlicky butter with a bit of rosemary in there as well, you want to make sure you are not stingy when it comes to the garlic. Everyone's gonna be eating the same thing, so it'll be fine, don't worry. I have got 200 grams of butter here. I just literally popped this into the microwave for 10 seconds to just soften it down completely. And then I have got 250 grams. This is not a healthy recipe. It's not healthy at all, but it tastes delicious. This is 250 grams of Parmesan cheese. And then finally, I have also got some dried rosemary you can use fresh or dried, completely up to you. I do just find, because I'm using a pestle and mortar, I do just find that the dried rosemary just sort of breaks up a little bit better. So what I'm gonna start off by doing is getting my million cloves of garlic and I'm gonna crush them into my pestle and mortar. So I'm going to crush them using my garlic crusher straight into my pestle and mortar. Everyone actually asks me where this garlic crusher is from. This is made by Joseph Joseph. It is such a good garlic crusher. It's probably the best one I've ever used. I'll link it down below in my description box because I do get asked about it quite a lot. That is a lot of garlic there, but it smells amazing. I just love garlic so much. Right, next up, I'm gonna get my rosemary. I think rosemary and garlic and butter just go really, really well together. So I've got that in my pestle and mortar. I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit of oil and then I'm gonna get crushing. Right, next up I'm going to add just a little bit of my Parmesan cheese into my pestle and mortar too, and I'm gonna crush that again. And then I'm going to add my crushed garlic, Parmesan and rosemary into my softened butter. The last step you want to do is just add the rest of your cheese to your butter. I don't think my bowl's big enough, so I'm going to add it into my grater instead. This smells absolutely unbelievable. That's everything nicely combined. Oh, honestly, that smells so good. <laughs> I wonder why I've gained weight, you know, and it's because I cook things like this. Right, next up, you want to get your loaf of bread and you want to make slices into your bread. So you want to slice your bread one way and then you want to slice it the other way. You don't want to make them too thick and chunky because obviously you want to get quite a few bits of bread to tear off. So I'm going to cut them probably about a centimeter apart both ways. Um, width ways and length ways too. You also don't want to go all the way down to the base of your bread because otherwise you're just going to make your bread fall apart. So you kind of want to go maybe halfway through your loaf. Right, I'm happy with my bread now. So what I have got is a baking dish. The reason I've got this is because we are putting so much butter into your bread that it is going to ooze out. So I'm just going to pop my bread into my baking dish and then cook it in there. And then what you want to do is just get your spoon and then generously pop your butter mix into your gaps in your bread and just keep a little bit left at the end for glazing. Okay, my bread is all garlicked up now and it's looking really good. Well, it's actually looking a little bit messy, but that's fine because once it goes in the oven, it's going to just brown up and it's gonna look so good. So like you can see, I've got a little bit of the butter and garlic mixture remaining. So I've just got my brush and I'm just gonna literally paste it all over the top. I told you this was not gonna be healthy, but for the amount you actually are going to have as it's a tear and share bread, it's absolutely fine. This is a great thing to just put in the middle of the table when you've got guests over and it will go with the majority of meals that you're going to be serving. And like I said, it is just absolutely delicious. Last thing you want to do is just get yourself some salt and put a really generous amount ground over the top. I just feel garlic and salt with any meal really, really complement each other well. This is now ready to pop into the oven. I'm going to put it on the oven at 180 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes. 
That's gonna make sure your butter melts through so nicely, but also that your bread is going to soak up all those lovely flavors and moisture too. After 20 minutes, as you can see, your bread comes out looking absolutely delicious. It's got a nice golden brown color on the top and it's just completely oozing with yumminess. All that's left to do is just tear a little bit off and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you give this recipe a try and what you think of it. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye.